Good day, I'm Twyla Whelan and this is your JS News for Thursday, January 25, 2024. Government is making progress on discussions regarding the restructuring of benefits and allowances for public sector workers under phase two of the compensation review exercise. Minister of Finance and the Public Service, Dr. Nigel Clark, made that declaration in the House of Representatives on Tuesday. Dr. Clark was responding to concerns raised about a reduction in the allocation for public sector compensation contained in the fourth supplementary estimates that he tabled during the sitting. The compensation restructure, the first phase of it, is for the most part uh, complete with the exception of a few entities. But after dealing with the salaries and restructuring the salaries, the restructuring of benefits is now uh, under discussion. Um, so we are making progress in the sense that we are now moving on to discuss items that we were not discussing in 2023. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has hailed the construction of a mega apartment complex in Montego Bay, which he says will bring a new level of real estate development to the island. The private development, dubbed the Pinnacle, entails the construction of four 28-storey apartment blocks in the reading area of the second city over the next four years. The new community will sit on its own peninsula and have over 500 apartments overlooking the city's marine reserve. It will offer villas, sports, leisure and shopping facilities, restaurants, and a private residence club. I want to congratulate the principals of LCH development. It is a visionary project. It is a project that shows quite a bit of bravery. And I know that there are many looking on on the project and saying this is substantial, this is significant. So you're not only breaking ground today, you're doing something that is groundbreaking in Jamaica. Mr. Holness says the development will cement Jamaica's brand in the lifestyle segment of the hospitality market and add a new dimension to the island's tourism product. The Minister of Tourism and Chief Executive Officer of LCH Developments shared similar sentiments. Being respectful of our environment in all its forms are going to be centerpieces of their development strategy. And we're excited about that because this is creating a new opportunity for that new demographic to embrace Jamaica. But I wanted to say that the advent of this particular product opens a new door also in terms of city tourism. Montego Bay traditionally has been known to be a resort town. We're taking it now to another dimension. Our project isn't just about construction. It's a promise to honor and preserve the nature, natural beauty and blood us here in a very first place. The recently paved Moreland Community Road in northeastern St. Catherine has brought great relief to commuters. The roadway serves residents who traverse Guys Hill, Riversdale and Troja. Prime Minister Andrew Holness toured the area last week with Member of Parliament Carencia Morrison. The MP explained that the thoroughfare, which had been in need of repairs for over 30 years, was completed at an estimated cost of $60 million. The residents, they are grateful for it. They are ecstatic and certainly most deserving. Mr. Holness again promised that other such roads would get this kind of well-needed attention under his administration's new $40 million SPARC program. What we want to do is for whatever expenditure we make, which will be probably the most significant expenditure for road repair uh, in decades, that we certainly deal with the roads that the residents feel is critical to their economy, critical to their comfort, critical to their productivity. Government is moving to transform the infrastructure of eight health facilities this year. Portfolio Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton made the announcement as he addressed a recent handing over ceremony for the renovated Santa Cruz Health Center. Over the next number of months to come this year, we're expecting to approve approximately eight substantial hospital infrastructure projects. Over the next couple of months, you'll hear of health center in Old Harbor, St. Diego Park in St. Catherine, Portmore, then we will hear about Maypen, then we'll hear about St. Anne. 
Dr. Tufton says these developments will transform the facilities into modern, more comfortable spaces for delivering high-quality health care. We do this with certain critical things in mind. Greater sensitivity to the changing environment in which we exist. Greater levels of maintenance, because in the past we build and did maintain to ensure we have longer, sustainable usefulness of the infrastructure. And ultimately, a more people-centered and people-centric infrastructure. And finally, more market upgrades are coming. That commitment was given by Prime Minister Andrew Holness as he toured the Hopewell and Cleveland Stanhope markets in Hanover a few days ago. The Prime Minister told stakeholders that market development was a major part of government's planned focus on urban townships. We will be going around the country, looking at the markets, getting a full assessment, but the real reason is to hear what you have to say. And we're going to conduct as much repairs as we can. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Twyla Whelan. Thanks for watching.